What is up, everybody? Guy in an adventure here today. Today, I'm going to be doing another mask review. And I know you'll be asking yourself, wait, mask review? It's, it's not Halloween. If you've been following this channel, you know that Halloween is year-round for me. And today, we're going to be doing Trick or Treat Studios' Billy the Puppet Mask from Saw. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When Saw first came out, just like everybody else, I was pretty amazed by the first movie because, well... Something like that hadn't ever really been done. There had been other versions and other things done. And to be honest with you, I wasn't too impressed with the Billy Puppet. But over time, as I became a deeper horror fan and more into the genre, has it progressed. I found that Billy found his home right here inside my heart. And to be honest with you, I'd seen the mask several times and finally I had to go get it. It was like, you know, it was there and it was good and I did it. There he is, Billy the Puppet Mask, sculpted by Russ Lukish over at Trick or Treat Studios. And I must say, if you can get up on this guy, the paint, the hair, and the overall thickness of this mask is a quality that you can't pass up. As many of you know, I am a bargain hunter. So when you see a mask for $49.99 and it's great quality and a great sculpt, you go ahead and pick that up because you used to maybe back in the day pick this up for the least amount of $175 for the thickness, the sculpt, and the paint job. Russ over at Trick or Treat Studios really nailed it. It even comes with hand-punched hair. So go ahead and let's check this out. Go ahead and show you the inside of the mask here. You can see the hand-punched hair coming through. And the thickness of this pool is an excellent one indeed. And I really can't stress the importance of a sculpt and a paint job. And from factory, this thing is beautiful. I mean, look at it. Look at, look at the depth of the sculpt. Look how the paint pops. Look at the hair. And I love the overall, the overall way this mask fits on my head. And like I said, I have a big head, but it fits great. I mean, look at this thing on me. It looks perfect. It fits great. It's tight. There's no spaces. I can see directly out of the eyes perfectly. And it also is a very, very creepy mask. And I know because this last Halloween, I scared a few people wearing it. You, you can't find these guys for for what we're paying through Trick or Treat Studios. You used to be able to not find these anywhere. Like I was saying, you really can't pass something like this up when you see it. So guys, quick little review. Most of the vlogs are going to be quick until we have a subject matter that we can go in depth on. I could compare this to some private studios, Billy the Puppet Mask. I could compare this to another Wish knockoff, Billy the Puppet Mask. But $49.99 is what I paid. Guys, go out there and start collecting these up. And even if you want to do your own rehaul or you just want to try your hand at, you know, mask collecting, this is the gateway to do so. Trick or Street, <laughs> Trick or Treat Studios.com. All right, guys, I hope you liked today's vlog. If you like what you see here, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at Guy and Adventure, one word, all lowercase. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get notified when I upload the rest of the rest. And with that, guys, as always, thank you for everything you guys do. Over and out.